we can get ready as the five red lights are going to soon start ticking down and then we have there it is two red lights three red lights four red lights five red lights and zero red lights we are now underway at this Imola Grand Prix Lars gets a decent start so does Jalram we will see now behind what what has unfolded oh wow Lars did not have a good start I am just tripping oh wow very wide as Super Sam has somehow made his way up to P3 that is Lars and Red Bull and the Red Bull spinning around we will see Lars has, to, has an absolute catastrophe catastrophic start as Blackberry is also now at the back of the grid catastrophic catastrophic start for the Ferrari of Lars as Jalram still stays in P1 ultimate piece in P2 as so who is that spinning around it is Oscar Hansen going into getting a little bit into the gravel <clears throat> Can Lars do a comeback drive from P15? We will only time will tell us. Jalam is still in the lead. Ultimate piece in P2. Super Sam has made an incredible start up into P3 on those hearts. Oh, that very is yet another crash as Shango has been sent off the track in an incident with Lars and uh, I think it was Blackberry. I am not sure as it's that rain. Either way, it has been switched to overcast conditions. Catastrophic old start once again by Lars in, Ferrari, in the Ferrari. Can he do something to pull his way back into this race? We will see as Lars is now going to head for it on Louis Van Twist. He get, does an absolute send on both drivers. Lovely move by Lars as he gets two and one. Great stuff by the Ferrari. He uses all the power in his car to try and get past Super Sam with the slipstream as well his cross being pushed to the absolute limit can he send it on the inside into turn two he does go for a move lovely move by the Brit but Super Sam gets back Cricket goes over to get into P3 lovely stuff by the Alpine as he goes for an absolutely amazing move around Super Sam to go up into P3 and claim at least provisionally that last part as Blasted Inc and Cosmic have a very tight battle here Cosmic goes for it on the inside as Theak has crashed out. Theak has crashed out. There are jello flags and the safety car is... Is it being called out? Yes, it is. The full safety car is being called out. And this means that Lars will have an opportunity to catch up to the field. As it was looking very good. Oh! Ultimate Beast gets a drive through penalty. He will need to serve that after the safety car period not good for the, um, the Mercedes they now will definitely lose um, their P1 and P2 as the safety car is now into the pit lane ultimate beast now goes full speed cricket he I think he might have caught it caught cricket napping a little bit but Sam has also caught cricket napping what can happen here he is on hearts though which is not very, which is not the optimal tie, tie to be in in wet conditions super Sam into turn 2 he does not go for a move but Cricket is right up on the gearbox of Ultimate Beast. What could he pull off? Hmm. As Blasted Inc. has gained the position on Mihai. Big pack here. Oh wow. As Jelram has also gained the position on Blackberry. Oh. Oh. Jelram. Oh no. The touch driver has spun around. Oh. He goes into the gravel just like Lewis Hamilton did earlier on in 2021. He had a crash colliding into the side pod. And that is now Lars in... P11, great stuff so far by the Williams driver, as it is, wow, yeah, it has got a very wet on the track, will the driver's box now or later on, only time will tell, as it's Ruby, has lost the position, I think, I'm pretty sure, to Eweg, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's time to box now, the track is looking very, very damp, can he send it around, oh, Blackberry gets contact with Lars, it was not enough space for the two of them, as yep, everyone is pitting cricket has got a five second penalty for, for spinning in the pit lane and this puts Lars up into the lead great stuff by Lars well, considering six laps ago he was dead last and now he's not as old with beast will definitely drop to the back of the grid as he has, has so drive through and then can box on to inters which puts cricket in p2 and super sam in p3 alfa Mia has definitely lost a lot of time or it's ruby has lost a lot of time by having to stay behind while ewig was in the pit lane so yeah, all drivers are now on intercept except for ultimate beast who will have to fight it out until the end of this lap and and then he can <clears throat> uh put it onto the inters but yeah great stuff by lars going from p17 on lap two to now p1 on lap nine
Great stuff by the Ferrari Javo at their home track. Can he just pull it home and get those 25 points and the top step, top step of the podium? We will see. They say it's Rubies right on the back of Mihai. He needs to get a move done soon to stay away to stay away of the threat of Jalram. It's Rubies chasing down Mihai. Can he get it though? <clears throat> that is the question waiting to be answered as Cosmic is also chasing down Blasted although he goes wide onto the very wet part of the second. Oh, but Blasted has also gone wide, almost crushing his, his uh, cars under the floor. As Cosmic, can he line up and move into this chicane? It's going to be very tricky, but Cosmic, oh, Blasted Inc., the former teammates battling it out. But I think Blasted, Blasted has to give up the position. Cosmic lays it either way, gets down or gets up, sorry, into P5. Hmm. Oh, Jalram has now finally caught up to the Ruby pack. Can he get past Ruby? He's going to need to do two to try to minimize the time lost. As Ruby is now going side respect my, with Mihai. Ruby has gone past up into P8 with the raging Jalram. Or the charging Jalram, I should say. And behind in the Mercedes. Mercedes. P3. Oh, as Ruby and Jalram battle it out, but Jal Jalram gets the position. Wow, Jalram, great stuff by him in the wet. We didn't really see the fully, the full of it, but Jalram has gotten past with a very brave move on Ruby. As Jalram is now up into P8, could he pull it off no. <clears throat> to get that top step of the podium, or is it going to be QRT Lars who is having a comfortable lead? to Cricket as yep, Blasted Inc pretty much releases uh, Jalram as Jalram gets P7 now chasing down Blackberry who is himself chasing down Cosmic wow as C has dropped the position to ultimate piece oh there's been an incident between Oscar Hansen and Mihai sending both of them into the wall I guess but Jalram goes for a move on Blackberry very very brave move by Jalram as does he get past? Yes, he does get past Blackberry. And that is beautiful news for Cosmic, but also beautiful news for Jalram. As he has fought his way up into P6 now. Very, very good, gr uh, great drive by Jalram, who was also at the end of the pack earlier on. But Blasted could possibly seize the opportunity to get past Ruby. Oh, they go side by side. Ruby has to absolutely eat up on that uh, sausage curb. Oh, damn. Very tight racing between the Haskar and the Alfa Romeo, although it's Ruby stays ahead as well. Seems like it's very windy. As oh, Louis Van Twist, very uh, big fight here between him and Mihai. Could he possibly go for a move into the penultimate pen corner? The answer is yes. Can he keep the move? Oh, uh, keep the position. P10, uh, P11. Sorry. Yes, he can. He does an absolutely lovely move on Mihai. As Cricket in the lead, leading another lap, uh, adding to the his leading lap tally. As oh, Lars goes for a move now. Uh, oh, what's happened here? Uh, it is Oscar Hansen, who's got a 10-second penalty for exceeding track limits, as he is also being lapped. Ba -ba -ba. As Jaram could possibly get up into P3 if he completes the move on Wojtek, aka Ewig in the Alfa Romeo he gets into the penultimate corner seems like it isn't time for mediums just quite yet has uh, Oscar Hansen saw himself lose many positions by gambling this early as the track is still wet and yep there it is Jalam just easily cruises past uh, Ewig to get up into P3 an amazing recovery drive by Jalam and getting many positions from P15 I'm pretty sure it was Lars is now almost on the gearbox of Ruby down this hill into the penultimate corner can he go for a move the answer is yes can he keep p6 or is ruby going to fight back um, he gets up into p6 relatively easily and keeps p6 now going to chase down blackberry who is as we have a yellow flag it is blackberry spinning around on this short straight oh he's going to have to get out of uh, out of the way and he does so without causing any drama. Uh, cricket being chased down by Jalram but has lots of penalties which could come back to haunt him as he could miss out on a uh, possible race win as Ewig 
Only two attempts off now from Super Sam. Could he line up and move within this lap or the next lap? He doesn't have uh, time on his side as that is Cosmic spinning around, losing his front wing and uh, of course dropping positions. <clears throat> Let's see what Ewig e e can pull off. That's Jalram. Oh wait, Jalram is very close to Cricket but is he willing to go for a move as we soon head out on the final lap can cricket drs is enabled oh this is perfect for jalram as they have activated just before and that is surely the race win in the bag for jalram wow this stewards with a huge drama as they activate drs just before the finish uh, the drs line giving jalram the definite advantage over cricket as we just now lost his position Igweg also gains on this as he gets up into p3 can he uh, yep, he would get P2 as it stands. Um, Super Sam just needs to stay behind within a reasonable gap. At Emula, Jalram has done an amazing drive going from pretty much the end of the pack to the first to the first spot of the pack. He's going to get those decorated 25 points as he crosses the line for Mercedes to get the win. Cro cricket in P2. But Ewag is going to snatch that position and Super Sam is going to miss out on a podium. As Iwe goes P2, but it is not enough for Super Sam. Five times off. Williams cannot uh, get it. Can. As yeah, Lars P5, Ruby P6, and Ultimate Beast is probably going to go home in P7. Not, not a great drive by the former championship winner, but yeah. Williams gets almost robbed of a podium as Alfa Romeo gets their seasons, uh, their best result of the season so far. Ultimate Beast was lying in P7, Blasted Ink in P8, Blackberry in P9, Cosmic in P10 without a front wing. Elder Red Bull gives you wings, that's the, same, that's the case for Alvatari. Louis Van Twist in P11, and then C is going to be in P13. That is your Imola Grand Prix this Friday evening.